Welcome to another episode of The Score, and this is a SEA Games special. Joining us today are our Benilian athletes who will be representing the Philippines in the upcoming SEA Games this November. So joining us now is, of course, Alex, Coach Piao, Lord, and Coach Melvin. Welcome to The Score. Hi, good evening. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so first up, parang konting introduction muna, of course, para malaman naman natin mga audiences, what sport will you be representing the Philippines sa SEA Games? Alex? Uh, I will represent netball po for SEA Games together. Coach Piao? I'm Coach Piao representing Netball Philippines. I'm your Lord I live in Gabel. I'm a discipline officer at La Salle College of St. Benyon and I'm representing Breaking. Melvin, uh, I'm head of Breaking. Alex, um, you're also a Benilian athlete. Yes. What, what's your course in college right now? Anong um, year mo? Second year po ako ngayon, taking digital filmmaking. Paano ka nagsimula yung journey mo with Netball? Kayong dalawa ni Coach Piao? Um, high school pa lang po kasi ako. Under na po kay Coach Piao sa Chiangkai Shek po. So, what sport? Is it basketball? Netball? Basketball. Basketball. And then, yun, nung hinandal na po ni Coach yung netball, yun, uh, in-invite niya po. Coach Piao, ano nakita niyo kay Alex? Kung bakit nirekit mo siya? <laughs> Niisip ko rin nga ngayon. Kasi nga, hindi ka sa'yo, yung, yung love niya sa'yo, passion niya when you teaching her yeah. sa inside the court. Pag sinabi mong gawin niya to, talaga yun yung gagawin niya. So do you think that's one of yeah. Alex's strength as an athlete? Yeah, yeah. Being kailangan. her defensive players inside the court. Pag she's ready to do mga dirty works like, oh, wag mong patatanggapin yeah. ng bola yan, ha? kahit anong mangyari. So she'll do that. Rebound ka lang. Rebound lang siya. She doesn't mind if she doesn't score playing like 20, 30 minutes, yes. zero points. That's okay with her. So yeah, talaga more on the defense. And of yeah. course, following your instructions. Yes. How about you, Coach Melvin and Lord? Ano naman yung story nyo? With how did you get started with break? Ako po kasi sa breaking pala. Simula po, bata pa lang ako nag-break. Breaking na ako. How old? Or, ano, 13 years old po. Oh, okay. So, so hanggang ngayon po, um, ongoing. Tapos nagkaroon po ng qualifiers sa games mas yung breaking. Yeah. So, sumali po ako. So, pinalad po ako na nakapasok po sa team. Yeah. Ang um, Philippine breaking squad. So, ayun po. Andi na po ako sa position na po. Well, I've been breaking since the 80s when it started, uh, back in the days when we have boombox and <laughs> linoleums. And I've been doing a lot of uh, international uh, breaking competition. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've seen Lord a few, a few years back and he, he, he brought a lot of fresh uh, moves. A lot of people don't actually know about netball and breaking and even yes. consider it as a sport. So what do you have to say about to all of those people na parang, oh, Sport yung pala yung netball, sport yung pala yung breaking, it's more than just entertainment. It's non-contact sport yes. po. So, for us, it's saver po. Saver, <laughs> okay. So, pero similar po siya sa basketball. Mm -hmm. Pero ang difference lang is, hindi po lahat ng players is tumatakbo ng all the way po sa court. May mga designated lang po. Pero Coach Piao, do you mind letting us know at least yung foundation, yung mga rubrics ng netball? Actually, netball is started dito sa atin. 2014 lang. Oh, pretty recent. Yeah, yeah recent. Uh, tapos, 2015, sumali na kami sa yeah. SEA Games. Two SEA Games na. So, this will be our third okay. SEA Games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Designed para sa babaeng basketball. Oh, okay. Before them. Nagkaroon ng lalaki, sabi nila, dapat babae meron din. Yeah. So, they develop like, syempre, babae, it should be non-contact sports. Yes. Tapos, to dribble. Tapos, only two players can shoot. Marami na naglalaro ng netball eh. So hopefully, makakapag-catch up tayo with them. How about for you, Coach Melvin? It started in the Bronx. They're called B-Boys and B-Girls. Yes. Break boys or break girls because they dance on the breaks of the beats. It was only last year when we started in making it into a sport. It started in the Youth Olympic Games. So we were able to field in uh, five boys from here, from the Philippines. Yeah. And we landed about... <clears throat> top 25 oh, among the bad. world. Yeah, for the first time. For the first time. Yeah. And then we were able to push for SEA Games this year and uh, we just got the word that uh, it is now in Paris 2024. Oh, that's so, good news. But how has the sport progressed so far from the last time? We're pretty new because uh, there's a lot of like debate if it is a sports or an art. Yeah, it it's is. It's a dance or is it a competition? But because we do local jams, we, we call it jams, and mm -hmm. it's, it's being judged, and we, we score it. So it gets into the 
uh, criteria of being a sports also. From underground, yeah. from the streets, now we're on the world stage. Yeah. How about for you, Coach Piao? It's been five years since that ball has come to the mm -hmm. Philippines. Kamusta naman po yung audience, I guess, and also people participating in the sport? Before, talagang wala. Ini-invite ko lang yung mga kilala kong players <laughs> since I'm a basketball player. Right? Yes. Kasi, gusto mo ba mag-sigins? Yeah. So, this is your chance. Walang tryout. Sali ka na. But now, nakikilala na. <laughs> nakikilala na. So, marami na rin It's easier na for easier. people to join. So, we get to introduce it to... Ibang mga schools na rin. Now for athletes, Lord and Alex, ano yung mga struggles? Siyempre yung background ko is basketball. So may mga disadvantages po and advantages nung nagalaro na ako sa netball. Like for example po yung footworks, ganun. Um, kasi sa netball, one step lang eh. Tapos bawal mo na yung three step na compared sa basketball na what, one, two, three, shoot. Pwede. Sa amin pagkakuha, You have to pass, pass again. Yeah. So, ayun po. Pero, as a basketball player po, na naging netball, advantage po yung mabilis po kami. And yung endurance. Yeah. And yung passing skill po, skills po namin. Although, yung technicalities po, hindi po same sa mga Singaporeans, ganun. Mm -hmm. Pero, nandun pa rin po kasi yung parang instinct namin na basketball mm -hmm. instincts. Mm -hmm. Awang practice spot mo namin kasi kadalasan is um, medyo malayo sa amin. So ang struggle namin is minsan pagtag ulan po, wala kami ng practice spot. Pero ang pinaka-advantage po dito sa Philippines is marami po tayong skilled na dancers po dito. Yeah. Sa nagbibigay po sila ng knowledge sa'yo para ma-enhance po pa or ma-boost mo yung sarili mo as a uh, uh, b-boy or may up upcoming competitions para matulungan ka nila. Well, speaking of boosting motivation to our coaches, you know, when you see your athletes having a hard time, How do you keep them motivated, not just physically also, psychologically, emotionally, and mentally? I always tell them that to look at it in the future, that next year uh, we're gonna enter Batang Pinoy, yeah. Palarong Pambansa, and we're looking at UAAP teams having breaking B-boys, B-girls. So mm -hmm. imagine you, you just have your skill and you can earn your scholarship and become part of the team. Same with uh, Coach Melvin. Eh. Talagang struggle kami sa umpisa. Mm -hmm. Tapos ngayon, at least marami ng athlete na ang, ang vision talaga namin sa netball is to introduce this to the whole country. Eh. Yes. And for, for people to recognize mm -hmm. it as a legitimate yes. sport. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, when we come back, we're going to talk more about our SEA Games preparation. So, just stay tuned. Anong feeling mo na parang, wow, first time I'm representing the Philippines sa SEA Games. Tapos, dito pa yung hold yung SEA Games. Parang may pride po kasi, di ba? I never expected po yung breaking is mapupunta sa ganitong malaking opportunity po ito sa community namin.